Advance the machine to the point where the burring spindle approaches the countersink. This is the position on the burring spindle cam immediately after the drop after cutoff. At this point, the countersink arm should be down. The countersink attachment should be installed on the machine only after the workpiece is complete through the fifth position and the burring spindle is properly set. The countersink attachment is secured to the machine with two 835-14-48 screws and two 835-14-20 screws. It is important that the surfaces in contact with the attachment are free of burrs and chips. Secure the attachment in place. Attach the spring to the hook in the main machine casting. Remove the linkage that controls the opening and closing of the burring spindle by first removing the 5080-226-50 pin and the 1263-25 collar. Unscrew the nut on the center section of the opening and closing cam with a brass bar and hammer. Remove the cam. Install the cam with the swing cam behind it as called out in the workpiece layout. Snug up the retaining nut. Assemble the collet opening and closing linkage to the point that the bushing supports the countersink arm linkage. Position the swing cam such that the drop of the cam is in contact with the right side of the cam roller. Scribe or mark the cam relative to the burring collet opening and closing cam. Remove the assembly from the machine. 
Position the swing cam after first clamping the opening and closing cam firmly in a vise. Punch the opening and closing cam in the center of the elongated slots on the swing cam, then drill into the cam with a letter F drill. It is necessary to secure the cam with three 516-18 screws to prevent the cam from shifting during production. Tap the holes with a 516-18 tap. It may be necessary to grind some of the tap lead away to avoid the lead striking the walls of the channels on the face of the cam. Secure the cam with three 516-18 screws, 7 eighths long, and flat washers and remount to the machine. Remount the opening and closing linkage. Adjust the turnbuckle such that there is a 5 thousandths gap between the roller and the cam when the arm is in the down position. This will not only prevent the arm from moving should there be any free play in the bushings of the camshaft, but it will also allow the roller to follow the drop of the cam and prevent the arm from bouncing against the stop. Install the drill. It may also be necessary to change the drill bushing. Scale the distance on the workpiece layout. The drill should protrude from the arm and set the drill accordingly. Secure the drill in place. Approximate adjustments as to drill depth may be made at this time. Make a workpiece and gauge the chamfer. The countersink arm should not begin to raise up until after the drill has cleared the workpiece. Minor shifting of the swing cam may be necessary.